morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Saturday the 14th of May 2022. Look at yesterday's results then for Friday the 13th. We were Aintree on the National Hunt, 625. Um, four horses in that race, uh, and we had to go one in that race, unfortunately. Uh, there were two FTOs, uh, first time outers, and we were on this uh, number four Waterloo Key. Uh, which came third at 92. Uh, it lost a shoe, so it was running with a flat tire uh, and uh, basically uh, it got stuffed, as you'd expect. So um, what happened then? Um, well, the, the favorite was an FTO, first time outer. That fell, 11 to eight favorite. So it, under normal circumstances, that would have been helpful. Uh, we didn't like the uh, second favorite, number two, uh, uh, Happy de Minil or whatever it was, second, seven to four. Uh, and we, when we were reviewing that race um, uh, ourselves yesterday, we basically were tempted to have a go at this Henry's friend in FTO, uh, um, and it was about eight, and then it drifted out. Um, it drifted out to about four teams, and uh, like uh, like complete chumps, we basically loaded in on um, Waterloo Key. Uh, at 0.75 of a unit and if we'd only just uh, had a quarter of a unit on this Henry's Friend uh, it would have been, but that's great in hindsight so anyway, uh, end result, Henry's Friend which we didn't particularly like um, came in at 8 to 1 uh, and so we lost we lost a lot basically um, we were on this Waterloo Key uh, which was, say, was running with a flat tire so uh, who knows how it would have got on under normal circumstances anyway, we're down to uh, plus 50.01 units Profit on the account again, uh, so it's been sort of range bound. Uh, so we'll hopefully uh, we'll uh, take it from there. Anyway, uh, we'll stop that and uh, write up uh, today's racing. Right, we're back. We've written up today's racing then. So for Saturday the 14th, uh, no filter one, which is our structure filter. We do have an alterna at Newbury uh, on the flat 4:30. It's a Phillies trial stakes listed class one three year old ten furlong good. It's part of the uh, the pattern. Uh, so-called pattern which is uh, like a series of races leading to classics and so on uh, and it sort of feeds through it's, uh, so it's three-year-old fillies um, and uh, there's about seven in the race but it chops up accordingly as far as we're concerned you've got this likely favourite this number six Nashua and MBM not beaten much it's really not beaten much it's pretty much hyped off the back of uh, a relatively poor it's had a very soft route in um, and uh, they can be dangerous, those horses, but it's odds on, but but uh, we don't think so this time, so we'll give that the chance. Uh, and uh, this uh, number four also had a little bit of potential, Golden Mayflower. Uh, it's probably not good enough, though, as far as we're concerned, so we'll give them that chop as well. So that leaves us with uh, number five, Mukadama, uh, which is uh, it's got a reasonable uh, profile for coming into the race. Um, it's nine to two. We go about five to one, and we've used that as a hedge, as a sort of a as a, as a benchmark lever. Uh, so it's 0.25 win at five to one on average, uh, as far as we're concerned on that. Old. It's sort of average marginal horse. You could see it coming in on a good day. Uh, uh, but the one we're really interested in is number one bouquet, uh, ridden by De Tory. Uh, and it's likely to shorten off the back of that anyway. But uh, uh, what do we like about this horse? Well, uh, basically it's, it's got pretty much the strongest uh, route through the pattern, as you can imagine. Uh, you can imagine uh, it, it, on the 8th of the 10th, 21, uh, last year, uh, new market, Philly's Mile, good to soft. Uh, and that's the key really, it was good to soft. He didn't really like it, it was slowly away. If you watch the replay, um, slowly away, then sort of pumped up, caught up, uh, stayed competitive to about, I don't know, won won the call of furlongs out and then was eased as as they uh, as as they, uh, they drew away second to last. But the actual profile of the race, uh, the official rating of the winners what one fifteen uh, and uh, uh, and um, bear in mind this these were two year olds uh, and uh, and the horse just above it it was one hundred and six. So so it's punching way above a uh, listed class. Um, that's that's about as good as it gets as a route in uh, for this race. Um, uh, it, it, it didn't quite appreciate good to soft. This is good going. It's ten furlongs. It's another two furlongs. Uh, we that's that's the class horse in the race, uh, and uh, we've bet it accordingly. 0 0.6 of a unit uh, to win at just over six to one on the exchanges. So um, uh, hopefully we'll get a result on this. As say we've been having a bit of a torrid time recently. We've had. Jockeys throwing themselves off on the flat. Uh, we've had shoes flying off, 
and we've had just generally uh, generally not uh, hit on any of our uh, bigger bets but uh, anyway we're, we're punching away that's racing um, and uh, from a forex perspective uh, you can uh, that's standard practice for a forex uh, you just you get uh, knocked down, knocked down, knocked down, and then suddenly wham, uh, you're massively up. So uh, anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing this, uh, was it, 4.30 at Newbury. Uh, so Phillies trial stakes, it's part of the pattern. And this uh, number one bouquet uh, has got an excellent routine and uh, all, all pretty much all going for it. So, uh, so we're hopeful on that one, then we'll review it tomorrow and see how we go. So uh, thanks for watching. If you subscribe, thanks again. And uh, thanks for... See you tomorrow, basically. So, goodbye.